Grace Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm like the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. There was a man. Uh, he was an 81 year old Montana man. Montana man. He was sentenced to six months in federal prison. Holy, what did he do? He illegally used tissue and testicles from large sheep hunted in Central Asia to create hybrid sheep for captive trophy hunting in Texas and Minnesota. I'm so kidding. What? That was a long sentence, man. So, so what? This guy's name was, uh, I won't even put his name. He, uh, he basically, they're trying to change the genetic makeup of, of these sheep. Yeah. They are, uh, he, he had said, I will have to work the rest of my life to repair everything I've done before sentencing. Um, and somebody else said it has broken him. I'm like, I don't, this man did not care. Wait. So wait, no, explain again what he did. Okay. So these are called Marco Polo sheep. Marco Polo sheep. And they're sheep. they're from Asia. They're I don't think they're even they're like I think they're endangered. Let's see if we can get an accurate Okay. So they're the largest in the world. They can weigh three hundred pounds and have curled horns up to five feet long. Uh so basically he sold the semen from them along with awesome. hybrid sheep. A semen dealer, I love it. Yeah, so they're big. Big big boys. Holy like, crap! Look, look how look look. That is a man next to that. That's a big ass. That's a sheep. That's a sheep, bro. That's a freaking sheep, man. It's a monster. So they have like these long tendrilous freaking horns. Like a, on their yeah, head? Uh, yeah, exactly. So right, what cool. they would do is they would um they would in October 2019 the court records show he paid a hunting guide four hundred dollars for the testicles of a trophy size big horn sheep. Okay. Then they harvested harvested the semen, and they and they uh, and they artificially inseminated sheep to create bigger, more intense trophy sheep, and then they would just keep keep doing that. So it. Uh, I don't understand what the problem is with that. Isn't that? A, I mean, we eat it's, these it, animals, right? So isn't that cool? Um. Isn't that it, what they do with dogs and shit too, man? Yeah, Cows, but the problem bulls. Is, is like these sheep are. They said they're like I don't know. They're banned in the U.S. or something. I don't oh, know. is it like uh, like pugs or something where it's like it's uh, it didn't say that, but it said like it's it's not. They're not in the U.S. So then he got the semen, brought they're the semen to the U.S. and started impregnating sheep in the U.S. Oh. to create these hybrid genetic sheep so we don't know how they will react with the ecosystem essentially yeah. okay i can, that I can understand. some sort of like eco law yeah and the name okay. of it like the laura law or something like that it's like you yeah. can't just bring invasive species in and breed them with local species and like hope to yeah you, you can't just be trying to create species in this country sorry we don't we don't vibe with that yeah yeah exactly they said something about cloning but then when i looked deeper it didn't i don't see that they were actually cloning um but I'm just like, how do you get into that business? <laughs> Who do, it honestly, like, John, farming is a weird scene. All right, now we spoke with a, a dirt farmer at a party one time, and it, I found it very interesting that a lot of farming is more about science than it is anything else. Like this guy had a farm, but he knew more about soil than any scientist you would ever meet. So I'm not too surprised that this farmer, you know, I, and have you ever seen like the guy who does like the chili peppers where he's talking about how he created the hottest pepper in the world. These guys, they study, they study this kind of stuff. So I'm not surprised that a livestock farmer was like, I wonder if I can breed a better sheep. They're constantly like, can I build a faster horse? Can I build a bigger cow? That's why they have to like create breeding. a half human, half sheep. I am what, sure that's that... the over under on how many sheep this Ugh. man. Uh... I don't know, man. If you start dealing with humans, that's way more nefarious. So if he were to do that, he would probably he would go to prison. How and I would I sheep... would feel good to see him behind bars. How many of his own sheep do you think that he tried to have sex with? What are we talking about? Oh, man, none? All of them? Oh, Both? My oh, my God. That's Some awesome. all of them on Tuesdays. None of them I in the rest like of the week. You are working with sheep and you're to the point where you're buying their testicles and extracting the Stop. semen and impregnating other sheep my man's never worked on a farm you're doing 
doing something weird with them. Sheep. Have you seen what they have to do to cows when they have like nasal infections or like uh, to? Have you ever seen uh, extracting bull semen or uh, impregnating uh, the, the other cows no, with the bull semen? No, because I don't want to. You know, of course you don't. I you have never definitely seen... seen a man shoulder deep in a cow doing Thank something, you. and like Thank I don't know if that's inseminating them or what they're doing. Thank they get like you. a balloon of semen, they put it all the way in, and they pop it or something. I don't even know. They pop- it's like a, they just take a take a balloon, just pop, and then there's just a big old gush in there, and they're like, one of them's going to get it. So, yeah, so working with animals ain't pretty, man. It's, it's not. That's why I don't do it. That's why you don't do it. So I am I just don't see this as being, like, that crazy of an idea. Um, it may have even been different if you were to able to get one of the sheep into the country and then start the breeding, but I'm sure he probably couldn't get it because he couldn't get it past the FDA. Yeah, or yeah, or just so, some custom whatever, yeah. That that's yeah, probably man. where he he jumped the FDA by sneaking testicles. testicles. <laughs> or he just extracted the semen. My man is just, just, my man's just smuggling testes, man. Yeah, smuggling cum or something, dude. He's doing something, dude. He's it's got wild. the mighty tiny whiteys and he's smuggling plums. Yeah, exactly. Exactly that. Mighty Tidy Whitey's and I'm smuggling <laughs> plums. Exactly. It's a Bloodhound Gang yeah. reference. Um, Who does that? You. In 2024. Ew. Oh, I'm sorry. But yeah, but I don't know, man. I. It's all. But they were doing it all for game, just to hunt them. It wasn't even for any sort of, any sort of like, benefit, other than to make them bigger. But they're cute. they're cool, I guess. I mean, look. Okay, so hunting them is is one thing. I wonder if maybe, like, their wool wasn't as good, but I'm sure that the meat was probably, right? He just literally said for trophy. Like, so they had a bigger horns and bigger whatever on the... You saw that one? That, that man could have rode that sheep. So they weren't eating? That no. They were eating them. No, it said for trophy. They never ate any of it. I mean... They never nibbled he, on he, a little bit of sheep getting meat. getting intimate with the sheep, he's eating but the we, sheep, too. Where do you get off on the, Why do you always want to go down the phrasing. bestiality route? Right, you're phrasing. You just said, if you're gonna, where do you get off? Where do you get off? All right, buddy. <laughs> Tell you're what you're defending the, the geneticist? No, I'm not defending the geneticist. I'm just saying is that I don't think that it's that far out of the realm of something that a dedicated farmer, dedicated to the craft, would do. Because you want to get one up on the competition um as far as him hunting them i mean you know that, that that's what america does so that's that i mean you know that's not a big deal have, yeah. do you have any people in your family that hunt Joni? yeah but they don't make their own sheep to hunt <laughs> they go out and they hunt the animals what? that are already out there bro what is what is giving you what's giving you this bad feeling about him creating the sheep what is the problem there for you uh, I understand the legal aspect, but I don't Lord think you're Savior that Our Lord and Savior created everything on this planet, and we don't need to mess with that. You are crazy. <laughs> Earth, Earth is an ARG, Jonas. We have everything that we need here to create everything. If you think about it, Jonas, this, this planet started out with nothing but what you see outside. And now we live in homes with lighting and flying cars and we have there are flying cars you're absolutely right yeah they're just not available to the public we have flying cars we can clone sheep with shit that we found in the ground <laughs> with shit that we found in the ground so i applaud a man for trying to create a new species because that is what we need we need to further improve the human race it's either going to be through technology or it's going to be through biology those are the only two ways so if, if we can find together and guess what you got yeah give me some sheep semen i how i will. put some sheep semen in me so i can get some big horns do i get big horns i don't know do you want them that's what i'm saying <laughs> yeah i do i want big horns I give mean, me a glass give me <laughs> hook it up Get my Yeti. Put it right right here in my veins. I want some hot piping stuff. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, whatever it takes, man. Whatever it takes. So I'm not, I'm not. I Are you going to bail this guy out? No, I'm not going to bail him out. He broke the law. Oh. But I think that, you know, the government should definitely take a look into it, man. Maybe give him a job after he served his time. Uh, <laughs> What? 
I mean, he's insane. obviously he's done some work, man. Yeah, he he, Ill- he illegally siphoned semen. Yes, I understand. And then he broke the law. Sheep. How is that? How is that breaking the he, genetic code? He broke the law, but we're not looking at the accomplishment. He created kind of like a I wouldn't say a new species, but he created. It's like if you take a chihuahua and impregnate it from a bulldog, you got a bull chew, and then you're like. Oh yeah, but the first bull chew that we ever see in life, we're like, holy shit, that's a bull chew. <laughs> <laughs> and then once you see like five of them, and they're like, you see them, they're all deformed and stuff because it ain't. It's like the logistics just don't work. I mean, that's, so that's pretty true too. <laughs> I guess he is an asshole. Okay, I, I got him on board. Those sheep he's look like, like they were like in pain. Like, it's just like they're just like, Bruh. like the yeah. first six just had three legs and one horn, yeah, like no, a unicorn no. horn coming out of the front. Those sheep definitely didn't look like they were living the best life with nah, those horns on their head. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Please go to thecrazydown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.